Hello. Today I wanted to read this um, message from Jesus that was first transmitted through the uh, Love and Light Research Group in 1979, November 3rd. I greet you in the love and the peace of the Infinite Father. I come at your request and I am known to you as Jesus. Your vibration has reached out to me this evening and I perceive that you are true disciples and that you are all too aware of my words and that you must take up your cross and follow me. It is well, my friends, my beloved children, to meditate upon that which is your cross so that you may the better take it up. But we ask you to remember that it is through the cross that you can achieve redemption for all those about you through your great love and sacrifice and ultimate resurrection. What I wish to say to you now is that you will be aware more and more as you grow towards the consciousness, which you choose to call Christ consciousness, of the endless wonder of my existence in the creation of the Father, to live, my friends, in a constellation of beings who are individual, unique, and miraculous, to have through grace and Holy Spirit that dwells among you, all power for good and for love. Think you that you are unworthy of wonder and joy? Shed your unworthiness. You do not need it, and it does not need you. Enter then into the kingdom which awaits you, a kingdom that is here, my friends, in this illusion, on this plane of existence. Enter into the kingdom of those who have washed in the waters of healing. Know that which is your cross, and love and accept that which is your cross, and so shall you be healed. It may not seem so to the world, but it is your soul that is of significance. It is your soul that must be healed and washed. And once clean, you shall be called holy, and you shall be called chosen. Not by others, and not by yourself, but by the impersonal and loving judgment of light. For your souls are the stuff of light. Thus, heal your souls by constantly standing in consciousness of love, and wash and wash with that love until you are clean. Let this be private and secret, and speak to no man, for the world will not understand that which you do in the name of the Father. But that which is within you will come out, and thus you will become an instrument for love. What love I have in me is yours, my brothers and sisters. You are my beloved brethren, and you are next to my heart, as are all conscious beings. Know that you can and you will be healed of whatever keeps your soul in bondage. And seek always that holy ground which lies beneath your feet, wherever you stand. I am with you in prayer. I am by your side in meditation. My love goes with you. My peace I give to you. I am known to you as Jesus. My peace to you, my friend. Amen. So, let's just have a brief discussion about that message. And uh, this is the message of Jesus. And this is consistent with everything that he said in the Bible, what Jesus said while he was alive in Matthew, Mark, and John. And I know that... Um, right now extant in this world the mainstream Christianity um, well they don't they don't follow Jesus because you know he's too good I guess or something they prefer Paul Paul uh, has a different view but here we know that Paul believed that um, it wasn't you that should take up the cross he believed that Jesus had done all the work and that we don't have to do anything. 
uh, that we just need to accept Jesus' blood sacrifice, and we're good to go. But here Jesus is reminding us, just as he was reminding us in his life, that, no, I didn't do all the work for you. I showed you how to do the work. Okay, you have to love one another. You have to be kind to each other. You have to forgive each other. Bless your enemies. Do good to those hating you. You know, be kind to those being mean to you. Okay, here's a little B. That is, I don't know if you can see that. Anyways. But, um, anyways. You've got to be kind and gentle to all the creatures of the world. The little bees, the little flowers, the rocks. Everything is God's creation. Okay, everything has the spark of God within it. All right? Jesus did not say, did not turn away anyone. You know, prisoners, tax collectors, you have to be kind to all beings. Okay? It doesn't matter how the world judges them. It is not for us to judge. We are to love. We are to be kind. Okay, and I know that can be hard for some people to hear, and they say, well, uh, yeah, I know Jesus said that, but... Uh,